Thank you, uh, Jan. I tell you, uh, I've not heard that whole story about how this all transpired uh, because Jan has been in the South Bay with, I've it just been absolutely my heroes uh, in implementing this program. I, we've been out talking about it. We got web pages, we got Facebook, we got all these things going on. But at the end of the day, you needed a group or organization to do it, and they've come through like champions in here. The other, Mark Tajima from our CEO's office. Uh, He's the gentleman that uncovered this pot of money that no one knew anything about. And I made a trip back to Washington, and we caught, talked to HH&S, and they said, wow, no one has talked to us about this. No one is, are utilizing these dollars. And so we tried to, <clears throat> anybody here from state government? We tried to <laughs> circumvent the state and have them come directly to us uh, and uh, to do the right thing and do it quickly. Uh, and I'm telling you, this is like in March, okay? And so our goal was to get it up and running by July 1. And so we were able to put this thing together. Then we started getting phone calls from across the country. I said, what are you doing out there? Um, because my feeling has always been, you can't print enough money to get us out of this situation. It's all about jobs, jobs, jobs. That paycheck, somebody buying a cup of coffee, whether it's at Starbucks or McDonald's, somebody going to the dry cleaners, making a mortgage payment, buying a car, all those kinds of things, that doesn't happen with printed money. That happens with people working and having a paycheck. And not only does that, it helps their personal self-esteem. And I have told you, and Jan has sent me some, and I sent him a couple uh, of letters from individuals. Uh, from my, One particular lady that's continued to stick out in my mind was the lady that Lakewood Chamber hired, and the impact of that job on her life and on her kids' lives, and the, you know, the big deal of getting that paycheck and her self-esteem and what it meant to her family. So I'm, I'm really, you know, Mark brings it together. I, you know, I sort of bring it forward. Uh, we work with everyone. We get the South Bay Whip, and, and here we are today. And this is really not only to say keep it going, but it's really a, a public opportunity for us to talk to all members of Congress, all members of Congress to extend this program. They took a big vote the other day, and. Congresswoman Harmon was right on the forefront with FMAP. That was huge for the medical side of it. This side, this program expires in October of this year. And, you know, you're talking about 20,000 jobs, including the youth programs. Of uh, The impact on this economy, the impact on these people's lives, and that's what it's all about. Um, I'm telling you, why, why do something crazy? They all talk about stimulus dollars here, stimulus dollars there. This program works. This program puts people back to work. And that's what this is all about. And so I just urge all members of Congress uh, to, including my colleagues on the R side, I'm going to make some calls on behalf uh, of Jane to them as well to encourage their support. This is a program that works. This is, you know, and you heard the mark, you've heard the radio today at all, you know, there's a bleak jobs, you know, and some foreclosure issues here and all those kinds of things. So it's nuts to stop this program. Uh, in the next 30 to 60 days. And so we just plead with the members of Congress, uh, you know, I don't know who's here to cover it, to let them know. But our big champion has always been, and it's always great to be able to pick up a telephone and uh, bug Congresswoman Jane Harmon. <laughs> but I don't usually bug her just about anything. I bug her because this area, the largest county in America, the largest uninsured population in America, you know, we need her support and help. I don't think she has ever failed once to help the citizens of Los Angeles County. Because at the end of the day, what we do, and like Mike said, you know, we have to implement the program. We, you know, when they come into a county hospital or apply for the job, you don't say, are you a Republican or a Democrat? Nobody says that. Okay? So when it comes to health care, when it comes to jobs, and that's what we try to tell the folks in Washington. We don't get the, we don't have the privilege of saying, R.D., you tell us what to do, we have to figure out a way to do it with or without money. But one of our true champions in the Congress of the United States, and I'm going to ask her to, do I just did, do I segue right in? True champion for us, and that's Congresswoman Jane Harmon, not only a true champion for the county, but a dear friend. So, Jane, it's all yours.